Hey babes, it has been a minute. I hope you all are doing well. If it is your first time checking me out, well, hi, hello, my name is Jeannie. I just got back from a short little getaway vacation with my husband and I haven't filmed in like a week, maybe, maybe more. And I'm just so excited to be back. Um, my vacation was wonderful. Thank you all so much for giving me well wishes while I was gone. I'm just so excited to be back. This is a very exciting video. So for this video, we're going to go through my December Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. This is a subscription bag. I think it costs about $30 now. The prices on all this stuff keep going up and changing, but I think with tax, this is very close to $30, but you get five full-size beauty products and you're able to customize three of the products in there um and spoiler alert this was a really good bag there has been some recent months where i almost quit ipsy like i was getting straight skincare no makeup no variety like i want a mix i don't mind getting skincare in fact i love getting skincare but i want to be able to like create a look with the things that i get and that this bag was just that so we're gonna try all of the products together we're gonna create this look together but first for not everybody wants to see all of the products used and i get that some people just want to see what's in the bag so we're going to go through the products in the bag and then if you want to create this look with me with the products then just hang out until the later part of the video um i do want to mention if you're new here i have an amazing giveaway going on it's going to stay open for a few more days then i'm going to be opening part two of my holiday giveaways but right now you still have time to get your entry in for my holiday giveaway part one which includes jeffree star morphe glam glow anastasia beverly hills and so much more it's such an amazing giveaway all you have to do is just be part of my beauty youtube family by hitting the subscribe button and then leave me a comment on the giveaway video which i will have linked in the description box below so that it's easy for you to find you could just go down there click on the link check out all of the goodies in the giveaway leave a comment and that is how you'll have your entry because i use a comment picker to choose the winner so definitely get your entry for that if you have not you still have some time and definitely keep our eye open for giveaway holiday holiday giveaway part two because it is so so good as well that will be coming very soon but for today's video let's just go ahead and jump into ipsy so within this like i said you're able to customize three products and they pick two for you so let me show you what they picked for me first and foremost there was where is she Okay, so there was this, and I was actually really hoping that I would get this, and I thought, okay, if I if they don't if I don't get it in my bag, then I'll pick it up on add-ons because I was so curious about it. It is the Rodial Glass Primer. Now the products do come in original packaging, but like I said, I already opened everything, used everything, and created a look with it, which you'll see in the later part of the video. But that is why in this part of the video, they are not in their like cardboard packaging. They did not come like that. They came correctly packaged so i thought i would just throw that out there but so this primal re primer retails for 40 dollars. if you've been following me for any amount of time you probably already know that i love primers i'm 36 years old and i do feel like a good primer is essential for a polished airbrushed makeup look so I love my primers and I really wanted to give this a try. I am just gonna say I was shocked. Not necessarily in a good way, but not necessarily in a bad way. It all came together in the end, but this primer threw me for a loop. So if you want to see me use it and find out why, just hold on until the later part of the video. But that was product one that was chosen by Ipsy. And the second product chosen by Ipsy was by Complex Culture, which actually is Ipsy's own brand, which I know some people are kind of like, you know, it feels some sort of way about them putting their own brand into our subscription boxes. But I had never tried anything outside of the brushes and I think a concealer. So I was actually pretty excited to see this. It is a blush compact duo with a nice mirror in it as well. And these are the colors on there. We do use them in the later part of the video. It is what I have on right now. I mixed both of them together, but they are beautiful shades, very pigmented and I was not mad about getting it in my bag. In fact, I was kind of excited because it kind of went along with everything to like go ahead and create a full look. So that I really love. I love when I can take my box or my bag, whether it be BoxyCharm or Ipsy or whatever it is that I'm unboxing and I can create a whole look from it. 
um, or as much as possible. I really, really enjoy that. Also, the packaging on this feels kind of luxe. It's kind of heavy feeling. And for blushes, you do get a ton of product. So I was happy with it. Now, the next products were where I got to customize the next three items. And I did customize the Shauna B Miami Nights Eyeshadow Palette. This was a stunning palette. These are the colors. As you can see, it's been used because I created the look that I have right now with it. Um, I am in love with this palette. It screams holiday with the red, green, and silver pressed glitter. I love glitter looks. I've recently, in maybe the last eight months to a year gotten away from using a ton of glitter but I always used to do glitter looks and I still love it I did use the glitter on my look today I think that it made a beautiful holiday look the pigments were gorgeous I thought maybe at first they were a little bit patchy but it all worked out in the end definitely very pigmented and beautiful and I was very impressed with the palette if you want to again see me use it just hang on until the next part of the video and then, so for the next product that I customized, it was the Tresluce Beauty Eyeliner Duo, and it comes with a black and then a copper color. So I did not use the black liner today in the look, but I did use the copper line, the copper color in my waterline, and it was a very nice creamy formula. Um, and I just think it's cool that for like a product that you're getting two, it's kind of like a twofer. So you're getting two full size eyeliners in there, and the one that I did use was very nice. I I can't say that it was like something absolutely spectacular. It's a freaking eyeliner, but it was nice. It did what it was supposed to do. The coloring and formula was beautiful. And I guess I really wouldn't know about a wear test because I just put it on. But so far I'm liking it and I, I'm glad that I got it. Now, the last product that I customized for myself was this lipstick by Uma. And this is the line where it is like, what, see, I wish I want to throw that packaging away. It's like, um, Oh, the badass line where it's like all um, badass, iconic women. Um, and then this was the Maya. And this is what it looks like in the packaging. Very pretty matte lipstick. Very nice packaging. Also is magnetic, which I love. It just makes it feel bougie. And um, as you can see, I do have it on. It is a very creamy yet matte formula. I think the formula feels very comfortable. It looks beautiful and I'm very happy with that as well. And then I did have a couple add-ons. And so one of them with Ipsy, there's a really cool point system. So with all of the products that you receive in your bag, you're able to review your bag as a whole and then review each product and get points for each review that you do and then use those points for extra products. So this time I turned some points in and got this deluxe size sample of the Ciate London Watermelon Burst Hydrating Primer. Again, as I've already mentioned, I love primers and I have dry skin, so anything hydrating sounds good to me. This is not one that I've tried and I do love this brand, so it didn't cost me anything because I had the points to use and it was on there, so I went ahead and grabbed that. I'll definitely use that in an upcoming video. Of course, for this video, I did go ahead and try the Rodile Glass Primer, which again, was a shock. And then I do have two add-ons. I had been dying to try this. This is the Yensa um, Silk Bronzing Base, and it's like a cream bronzer. Um, I did use this today, but that is what the product look like, looks like. It also does come with a brush, and I really, really enjoyed it. I think that it looks very beautiful on the forehead. I was thinking it might be a little bit too dark for contouring my cheeks, just because I am very fair. But as far as bronzing the skin and the formula, A1, absolutely love it. And again, we use this together later in the video, coming right at you after this. Um, and then the last add-on was by Lauren Conrad, and it was a liquid liner. I believe this is the shade Onyx, but this is what it looks like. 
And I did use this for just a very thin wing line on the end of my eyes for the look. And I thought it was pretty good. And we use it together coming right up. So those are the products if you want to create the look and see my first impressions and see me work with all the products, then just hang right on. It's coming right at you. Okay, babes, if you decided to hang out for this portion of the video, I am so excited to hang out with you. And let's just get on into these products. This is literally, like I said, my favorite type of like subscription box or bag is when I can actually create a look with the things that I received. So this was like a perfect example of what I like, a good mix of different things. So of course, the first thing we're going to try is the Rodile Glass Primer. Now, I'll be honest, when I saw this was, we saw this in spoilers before we got our, um, were able to see what was going to be in our Ipsy Glam Bag Plus for the month of December. And when I saw this as a spoiler, I was really hoping that it would be one of their picks for me. And if it wasn't, I was probably going to pick it up on add-ons if I could. But so there is the packaging. Um, and this is not a primer I've tried, but if you have been following me for any amount of time, then you know I am primer addicted. My name is Jeannie and I am addicted to face primers <laughs> and eye primers too. <laughs> so it does have a safety seal on the top, which I appreciate. And I'm excited to give this a go. So normally I do do more than one primer. I'll do like a pore filling primer and then like a moisturizing or a dewy, just really depending on what kind of look I'm going for. But I want to first see the texture of this because I have never used it. So it's actually a bit thicker than what I expected. Um, when it says glass primer, I kind of expected a very smooth, silky texture, but that does not mean that I'm not going to like it. I love primers of all different textures. Um, so we'll start with this and then I'll probably add a bit more as well. Hmm. Interesting smell. Oh my gosh. You know what? It's got a very eucalyptus mentha smell to it. Very interesting. I wonder if it's going to have like a tingle. Okay, yeah, so I definitely need more than that. Like I said, I'm a primer junkie. So you saw what I had the first time. I have about the same amount for the second time. And this should be good. I'm just kind of, oh yeah, wow. It's got a awakening feeling to the skin. Very um, menthol-like. I don't know how else to put it. But I really like to concentrate my primers in my target areas um, where I have my wrinkles and fine lines in between my eyes here. And then obviously all over the face as well, but I really like to target it in my problem areas. <gasps> Whoa. Okay. I'll be honest with you, I did not expect this, and I don't know if I like this for a primer. You guys, it's iridescent. Look at that. Can you see it? There is a total iridescent, um, okay, I definitely wouldn't have put that much if I would have noticed. This is definitely going to be one of those primers that you'll use your favorite primer first to fill your pores and then you'll put a dash of this, maybe even mix it in with your foundation for a beautiful sheen. But there is literally, okay, whoa. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I probably need to wash my face and start over. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it looks like, let me see if I can work with this. Hold on. I do. Whoa. I was not expecting that. I just like, honestly, can you guys see that? So it's very streaky and um, almost like holographic, like, like the uh, milk makeup holographic highlighters. And it's guys, it's like peeling off. Okay. I, I don't know if I should take it off and move on with a different primer. Okay, this is definitely not what I expected. And as I'm rubbing my skin, I can feel the product kind of peeling off as if your skin was peeling from a sunburn. And I don't know how that's gonna go under my foundation. Okay, I may have to try that 
Oh, if you guys could see, it looks like a pile of skin right here. Like it literally just crumbles off of your face. All right, well, that's a little bit of a disappointment. I'm not gonna lie. I was really excited for that primer um, and I am shocked. So let me see if I can show you guys what I'm talking about here. This is insane. Like it's literally turned into like, it's not clear. It's like golden and pink and purple. I have never, yeah, you cannot see it on the ring light like you can in real life, but that is something different. Um, now that I have rubbed it all in and it's dried down, I'm trying to see, like, I mean, it does give a pretty glow to the face, but it's also, like, iridescent. I I don't know, guys. I'm going to have to use that in a different way and try it again. As of right now, I think I'm just so shocked that I just don't know what to think about it. So we'll just move on. Um, so, and next, of course, we're going to use all of the other products, but first I have to get my eyes primed and my eyebrows put on and I don't have any new products for that. So I'm going to jump off camera, throw that on and I'll be right back with you. Okay, guys, I'm back. I got to be honest with you. That primer tripped me out when it dried down. It was like really iridescent on the skin and not like a sheer iridescent, like a very noticeable iridescent. Um, but after it dried down, um, I did go ahead because I don't have a new, um, complexion product as far as foundation goes to use for the video. So I went ahead and put some on and I'm actually really impressed. Um, I don't know how well you'll be able to tell on camera from how it was before and to now, but my skin does look like glass and I, it's, it looks very, very beautiful. Um, I think in, it just freaked me out. I was not expecting it. And I do think that you probably don't need as much as I initially used. Um, <laughs> and then I also think that this would be very good for very low to no makeup days for like a really, really pretty glow to the skin. But I was worried about how it was going to look under foundation. And I'm actually very impressed. My skin looks beautiful. So, and this is another thing that I picked up on Ipsy's sales. And I was going to save it till summer because it was SPF 40, which is a pretty high SPF for a foundation. I thought it would be really good for the winter. But so many of you all told me that you love this foundation. And then you also pointed out the well-known fact that you still do need SPF in the winter months and since so, since so many of you loved it I had to go ahead and bust into it and I also absolutely adore this foundation probably one of my top three at the moment anyhow so that was a strange experience with the primer but once it was all said and done I think that my skin does look beautiful so we will just move on from that craziness and I went ahead and just threw on some brows. Um, I just did a really quick comb through with my Anastasia Beverly Hills tinted brow gel. Just ran it through a couple times and that's where we're going to leave it. I'm not trying to be super precise with my brows. I've got nowhere to go. I'm just washing this off when I'm done, but we just needed to add a little brow. And then I primed my eyes and I like to try and keep it together so like for instance i got this out of a prior ipsy bag so i think it's fun to go ahead and pull it out and use it for an ipsy video this is the eye primer from um m 2 unyc and i actually really love this it goes on like a full coverage concealer and um it's a very very good retail value i think it costs like eight or nine dollars this came in my small ipsy bag the um cheaper one the regular glam bag a few months back and I actually really enjoy it. I reach for it over my high end ones quite often. It's a really, really good eye primer. And then I just went ahead and pressed that down with my Bella Pierre finishing powder and translucent. Now we're gonna go ahead and get on into the palette. I have actually never tried eyeshadow from this brand and I'm excited. The color story is holiday ish if you ask me with the gold um or I mean <laughs> the gold the silver the green and the reds so I think we're gonna just go all out with the eye look we're gonna go for it if it doesn't work out it doesn't work out it's just makeup and it washes off but we're gonna go for it 
And I still have a bunch of my go-to brushes packed for my vacation. So let me kind of dump those out. Whoops. And we'll just jump on in. So I'm going to start off with a domed blending brush. Kind of like that. This is... Actually, this is one that I got off Amazon. It's called Best Trop, and it came in a, a really large set. They're okay. They're nothing to write home about, but I'm going to use it for my transition shade. And I'm going to go in with the color Space, which is kind of like a mauve pink. And that is how I always like to, well, not always, but for the most part, like to start my eye looks with kind of a neutral mauve colored transition shade but we're going to get into this look. We're going to use the glitter and we're going to do the dang thing. Okay, so my first impressions of this shadow is that it's pigmented. It's pretty much the color that I expected from pan to eye. So I like that. No surprises. Seems to be blending very nicely. It does look a little bit patchy, but I haven't blended much, so you really can't. I mean, I think it's nice. It, it does look a, a tad bit patchy. Just keeping it real, guys. <laughs> but it's not anything that would make me not reach for the palette or anything like that. It's not super horrible or anything, so we'll just keep going with it. And I'm just going to kind of buff that actually into my crease area as well. Bringing it in just a bit and blending. Blending is key. It's actually a bit darker than I even thought it was going to be. So it's got some decent pigment to it. That's good. And I'm really just kind of bringing that in farther than I normally would with a color that dark but I have a look in mind and hopefully it will all pan out so whoo my kids are pissed <laughs> so if you're new to my channel every once in a while you might hear some screaming I have a one-year-old and a two-year-old and a 13 year old and that's just that's just what happens in house houses with babies so okay so we're gonna go ahead and deepen up the outer edge we're gonna use this burgundy color called Vino. It looks very pretty. And I think I'm gonna go ahead with the same brush. Just pick up some of that color and start on the outer edge. Just kind of tapping it on and swiping it around a bit. Just kind of checking out the pigment on it and seeing where we're at. It's definitely pigmented. making sure to bring it down into the lash line right here because if not you can get like a kind of like a little gap we want that seamless look of course and now i'm just kind of taking the product that's already on the brush and working it by continuing to blend That's pretty. I like it. I think I'm going to go in one more time with that same color. I really want to build that up on the outer edge. And as you can see, I'm just literally just swirling just a bit and then tap that on the outer edge. Run it along that lash line and kind of just do the same thing I just did with it but just build the color up a bit more. Going for a dramatic look tonight because I haven't done my makeup pretty much. I mean, I did very basic things on vacation. Mascara, lip gloss, a little bit concealer, uh, but I didn't do like full on eye looks or anything. So I'm kind of missing my glam at the moment and we're gonna do the dang thing. So that is really, really pretty and impressive as far as the pigment goes, in my opinion. 
now what we're gonna do is grab a, a little bit of a sticky base for the lid. You can use anything that works uh, for you. I'm gonna use the Stuck On You from the Beauty Crop. This is a great, very inexpensive option for a lid primer. So like we already, we already primed the whole eye and then set it down. But then you wanna go back in when you're gonna work with shimmers and you really want those shimmers to stand out on your lid. Uh, it really helps to go back in and add a sticky base to your lid where you really want those shimmers to pop. And so that is what I'm doing here. And I'm gonna take it from the inner corner and bring it about just over half of the lid towards the outer corner. Boy, my daughter's really tripping. Well, she's not up there alone. Her dad's up there, so no worries. I, I used to be like, I'm so sorry, guys, if you hear my baby's crying and you guys tell me all the time, quit apologizing. That is life. So I'm not apologizing. I'm just making note. <laughs> Okay, so that's basically what you want to do is just put a coat of something for that shimmer to really stick to. And now we're going to go in with some shimmers and I'm going to start on the outer part with this burgundy one. And this is called Lincoln Red. Ooh, it feels really nice. And I'm going to tap this on with my finger on that outer edge. That is super pigmented and pretty. Wow. And I'm just taking whatever's on my finger and. Ooh, is that pretty? Ooh. Okay. So then for the inner corner, I'm going to go ahead and grab Ice Palace, which is this color right here. It's like a really, ooh, it feels really nice too. These feel really nice. Look at that. Whoa. All right. And I'm going to tap that on the inner part and kind of just blend it right into that red. You can always go in and clean things up after. Just kind of getting it placed is the first, first hurdle. That is so pigmented. Holy smokes. This is, I'm, I'm, I'm impressed by this palette right now. It looks a little crazy right now, guys, but this is where you just trust the process and hope that it all comes together in the end. So what I need to do now is I need to pick up a little bit more of that red shimmer, just a touch, and bring it right on the edge of that white. I want them to kind of like melt into one another and not have like a harsh line where one one starts and the other begins. So you can do that by kind of just going back and forth with the two colors. They're both so pigmented that it's hard to make a smooth transition here. But that is not necessarily a bad thing because pigment is good. So, okay. I'm just kind of fix that just a little bit on the inner corner there. I'm actually really blown away by the pigment on this. I was not expecting that. Let me know if you guys have tried uh, the Shanna B shadows yet. I have tried her brushes and I think a couple other things like, well, I might have something like some um, highlights or something out of Ipsy, but never a palette, so. This formula is new to me, but I am not mad at it. What we are going to do is I'm going to add a little bit. Well, first, let me see. Okay, because I was thinking of adding a little bit of glitter glue to my lid before going in with the glitter, but it actually seems like it kind of has a sticky base itself. So I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to go ahead and press this on the center of the lid. 
I used to do glitters all the time and kind of have gotten away from it in maybe the last six months to to a year or so and I don't know why I love glitter looks I think they're beautiful done correctly and this is actually a stunning glitter it goes on beautifully I legit have not one piece of fallout and I didn't even use a glitter glue however if you do want to use a glitter glue a very good and expensive one is the NYX glitter glue it comes in a little holographic tube you can get like two for six dollars on Amazon looks like that amazing for helping that glitter stick minimizing fallout and making the glitter last the entire night on a night that you want to wear it. So glitter, I feel like some people love glitters or some people would maybe do glitter on something like New Year's Eve or a special event. So those are nights where we're really wanting and counting on our makeup to last and that will definitely help with that. So I think that is gorgeous. Of course, we're gonna place some of this ice palette um, just under the brow bone and on the inner corner to highlight as well. And I'm just gonna go ahead and use, what are we gonna use? We're gonna use this. I think this is by Complex Culture, maybe. I think I got it out of an Ipsy recently, but it's just kind of like a pointed brush. And it works really well for just popping a bit of highlight under the brow bone and on the inner corner. And that is such a pretty highlight, whoa. Jeez, is that pigmented? You want to kind of just soften it just a bit. I'm actually super, super impressed with this palette, guys. I'm not going to lie. And I'm just taking that same color and adding it into my inner corner right here just to brighten up that area. And you do not need much of this this is shadow to brighten at all. It is very pigmented, as you can see. I probably used a bit too much, but that's okay because we're still going to go in with concealer, and that'll take care of and even that out a bit. But yeah, I'm impressed. I'm going to take the brush that I used for the red. I'm not adding any additional product, but I'm just buffing out that edge a little bit. This is kind of how you fine-tune the look at the very end. Just make sure everything looks very seamless. And a lot of times all that will take is just taking the brush that you used for your outer corner and for your shadows and just kind of lightly going over the edges of things. So I think this is a very, very beautiful holiday type look. I'm gonna go ahead and jump off. I'm gonna do the other eye really quick and we're gonna come back and try out all of the other products because we still have a ton to try out together. So I will be right back. Okay guys, so I finished off the other eye shadow wise. I just did all the same things and then I popped some concealer on and we're gonna still finish off the eyes. We still have the eyeliners to try out. We have the Treslu's Beauty and then we also have my um, Laura Conrad, the add-on eyeliner and we're gonna use both. And then I also wanna place some of the red underneath the lash line. So I think we'll start with that. And I'm gonna go ahead and use this Luxie brush for that. It's kind of like a dense packed um, short brush. I don't know. Oh no, this is by M-O-D-T. This is the Smoky Detailer, so excuse me. I'm just gonna pick up some of that um, color called Vino, that red matte. And I'm just going to, I'm gonna pull, not pull, but just kind of Pull, well, yeah, I'm going to pull my eye taunt right here and just brush it into that lash line and connect it with the red on the outer edge. I'm going to use some liners too, so I don't want to go too crazy with this, but this is a really great brush for doing this. Really want to make sure that the bottom lash line is connected with the red on the outer edge and then just give some shadow underneath as well. Kind of smoke it out a bit. And of course, we'll do the same thing on the other side really quickly. And I do wanna mention, 
I do have the slightest amount of fallout from that glitter, but that is not necessarily the product's fault. I should have went ahead and used that glitter glue because that glitter glue is amazing and I would have absolutely not one piece of glitter on my face, but it's not horrible or anything like that. So I'm not worried about it. Even if I was going somewhere tonight, it's not even enough that I would be worried about it. So just something to note, just a tiny little bit, but again, user error, not the product. So that is stunning, you guys. I'm really, really impressed with this palette. I can't wait to get into the other products. What to do, what to do. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go ahead with the um, Lauren Conrad Black Liquid Liner and just do a very, very thin wing on the edge here. I have hooded eyes, so winged liner is not something that I always do, but like I said, we're going all out with things today, so we're just going to go for everything. And I really wanted to try this liner, and my first impressions are that it's very, very easy to work with. I don't know if you can see that there. I was able to make a very thin wing pretty much effortlessly. And I'm not the best with wings because I don't do them very often because of my eye shape, but that looks gorgeous. Definitely a very pretty addition to the look. So this is what the tip on this looks like. I'm really, really liking this. For the times when I do want to add a small wing, this is probably going to be my new go-to. So let's just go ahead and match the other eye. So when I do it, I do go ahead and pull, pull my eye taunt just a little bit here on the side because I have kind of downturned eyes and it just makes it easy to get get that wing going okay so, so that's not coming out maybe I need to shake it because it's brand new and hopefully that will help here okay yeah there we go so it definitely just gives little bit something extra there on the edge. I'm really, really liking that, but it's not coming out as, it's not. Well, I hope that I didn't get a faulty product. Okay, no, so it just needs to be shaken really well. It was brand new right out of the package. Whoa, there we go, there we go. <laughs> So yeah, again, not trying to get too crazy with that, but just a small wing on the outer edges. I'm very happy with that. So just word to the wise, if you get one of these brand new, it needs to be shaken quite well. And let's get that black liner off the back of my hand. So we have so many other products to try still. I feel like this is, I like this though. I like, um... So we have two liners in the Tresluce Beauty. Um, it comes with a black and then kind of a brown. I think I'm gonna go ahead and use the lighter shade in my waterline and see how that works for me. That's pretty. It's like a coppery color. I was actually expecting it to be a little bit lighter, but pretty nonetheless. Let me show you on the back of my hand how that is coming out. The formula seems very creamy and nice and it's just kind of like a copper shade. So we'll pop that on the other waterline as well. Yeah, that's pretty. Not mad at it. Now I already have a small wing. I'm not gonna use any more black liner, so we will try the black one on another time, but at least we tried one. So now we have to add some, some color and dimension and all of that to the face. And of course, we're gonna use the blush palette and we're also gonna use the Yanessa um, 
Sunlit Glow Bronzer and Brush Duo. This was an add-on. It did not come in the box, but I was able to purchase it at a very discounted price. I want to say it cost like $50 or $60 retail value. And I can't remember what I paid for it, but it was definitely under $20. So this is what the product looks like. I did touch it already because I was curious. <laughs> and then it comes with a brush. So I guess we'll try and use the brush. It feels nice. And I'm just going to go ahead and pick up some product. And I guess start stippling it on the areas where I would bronze my face. And see what happens. Okay, I might need to pick up a little bit more product. I'm not seeing nothing. Let's swirl it in there like that and see how that does. Now we'll, okay, there we go. And then I'm just going to stipple that on. Kind of like my hairline and my forehead area. So I have a big forehead. So bronzing up here is very important to contour the shape of my face. That looks really, really nice on the skin. Wow, do you guys see that? It looks like a second skin, like it doesn't even... Okay, yeah, that was definitely a good add-on. Super happy with this. Let's go ahead and try and contour with it. I don't know how it's gonna work for that, but we're gonna try it. Just kind of stippling it into that area there. Maybe a little bit too dark on me for contouring on the cheekbones. But since we've already done it, we're just going to go ahead and go with it. I just picked up a little bit more product and we're going to stipple it in on the other side here. Okay, I really like it for bronzing on my forehead. I don't know so much about contouring on my cheeks. Let me grab my contour blending brush that I use for my cheeks and try and blend it in a bit. Okay, yeah, I think it's a little bit too dark for cheek contouring for me. Or maybe I just had too much product on there. I mean, it's my first time trying the product, so I could try it again and absolutely love it. Using it a different way, of course, but I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it on my cheeks. I definitely love the way that it bronzed my forehead area. And I'd like to add just a little bit down my nose. Just kind of bronze things up a bit. I do think that the formula on that is beautiful. The way that it sits on the skin. Okay, so now I think the only thing we have left to try is the lipstick and the blush palette. So the blush palette again is from Complex Culture, which is Ipsy's own brand. And I know a lot of people feel some type of way about them putting their products into our bags, but I have not tried, whoop, I have not tried anything. So I'm excited to try it. It does look like a very pretty palette. And then it comes with this little card that says subtle glow and total glow. So this would be the subtle glow and this would be the total glow. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up a blush brush and we're gonna jump into it. Okay, I think I'm gonna mix the two colors just a bit and start popping it on. Definitely pigmented. That's pretty. I'm not mad at it, guys. That's a pretty blush. Oh my goodness, my daughter is tripping. That's a very pretty blush. I am not mad at this. Let me know if you guys have tried this before and what you think of it. I think it's nice. Let's do little swatches. So that is the Subtle Glow. Of course, you probably won't see it much on my hand. And then this is the Total Glow. That almost reminds me of the Orgasm X. 
Very beautiful. Okay, I'm not mad at these. And last but not least, let's do the lipstick. And then I got to add some mascara and lashes. And we have a complete look. So I am... Oh, we got to do highlighter too. But there's not a highlighter in here. So we'll... Okay, so the... This is Uma. And this is the Badass Icon Collection. And they're supposed to be all hero women type names. And this is Maya. It's supposed to be a matte lipstick. Ooh, the packaging is... Okay, so I always love when the packaging is magnetic like that. And it is so adorable. This is the product. It's got some stenciling in the actual lipstick. I don't know if my camera will pick that up, but... Seems like a creamy, comfortable matte, which I like. Very pretty, everyday, wearable shade. And very comfortable on the lips. I am so happy with this month's Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. I really, really am. Hold tight a second. I'm going to pop on some mascara and lashes, and I will show you guys the final look. Okay, loves, I'm back with the final look and my final thought on the bag. I am absolutely in love with my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus for the month of December. I love that I was able to create pretty much a full look with it. I love the look that I created with it. I feel like it's very holiday-ish and um, appropriate for December. And all in all, I'm just very happy with this month's bag, which is so cool. And I want to know what you guys think in the comments down below about all of the products, about the look I created and um what do you think about this bag and if you get ipsy and you already received your december bag i'd like to hear about your products and what you thought about those as well i am a curious cat and i always want to know what you guys think as well so that's going to be it for this video and i will see you guys very soon in my next one bye